woke up to a beautiful morning on his first day at his job at the bank. He stretched and got ready for his day. He walked out the door of his house, whistling along the way. As he walked by his man, he said to him, Where'd you find that shirt? As a compliment, but it said it in a thoughtless tone that sounded snide. His neighbor looked down at his shirt and started seeing things that he thought other people would not like. He rushed inside and changed it immediately. As Carter went to get his daily coffee, he saw a painter painting the wall. He looked at the wall offhandedly and said, I'm not sure if I like that color. It kind of clashes. The painter looked at the almost finished wall in dismay. He had liked the color, but now it was put in a negative light. He started to dislike it as well. He would have to get a whole new color and paint the wall all over again. When Carter arrived at the coffee shop, he sat down and the waiter got him as usual. He saw a dog a few tables over. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen, he exclaimed to the person across from him. It looks like a mop. The woman with the dog looked at him, shocked, before stalking off with her dog bouncing at her heels. The other customers looked at him with similar expressions. Huh, he said to himself. Carter absentmindedly took a long drink from the mug. He sputtered half of it out. Ah, why is this so hot, he said to the waiter. The waiter went back to the cook who examined the coffee machine. Another customer came in, and the cook made sure to let the coffee cool for a very long time. When the customer took a drink, he looked at it in distaste. Too cold, he said, and could not finish it. Carter smiled at everybody as he walked out, but nobody smiled back. Everyone wore a scowl that he balked a bit at. This could not sour his day, though. He had a job. He walked to the bank, but saw that he was early. He waited outside. His boss opened the door of the bank and walked in. Carter entered after, following cheerily. His boss turned on the lights and called Carter over. As there were people trickling in, he took Carter behind the counter. Mr. Monfort, I regret to tell you that I have to let you go, he said to him. Carter exclaimed, but it's my first day! I cannot allow one of our employees to have such bad behavior as I have seen you have. You may leave. But, but, Carter sputtered, but his boss pushed him out the door and onto the sidewalk. Carter walked home slowly, thinking about what he had done. A flash caught his eye. The pet store had a sign in its window. Now hiring. The next day, he was very careful about what he said. He complimented his neighbor on his shirt, gave a thumbs up to the painter, 
and petted the dog he'd made fun of. He went to the job interview and was hired. He came every day. He made sure to always after this think before he spoke and to only say things that might help the person he was speaking to.